Hi, this is Dr. Rami. Today I'm going to talk about the implementation and applications of building your own metaverse. First, allow me to thank and draw my appreciation for virtual, Tedra Virtual Academy for such a fantastic opportunities. Let me introduce myself first. I'm an international subject matter expert who works closely with international firms around the world and work with the Global AI Index as the, the only consultant or Arabic consultant in the Global AI Index. I uh, worked in different uh, projects for country trans on country transformation level for UAE, KSA, Jordan, Egypt, Bahrain, Japan, Denmark, and some other countries. Developed different solutions in Metaverse for municipality, Ministry of Health, Space Authority, uh, Economic Development, Policing, and some other departments. Awarded as the most influential consultant in the Middle East for, on AI and future management tools. Let's start our journey by learning what we think the, the most important point in order to understand how to build your own metaverse. As you all know, we need to understand first the metaverse and we already defined metaverse in our previous projects, uh, our previous courses as well. We talked about real use, we'll talk about real use cases that will identify how we are gonna use the metaverse in each and every industry. The art of visualization and how we to implement such a process. The regulation and ethical matters that will change the landscape of our business and will change the overall understanding of metaverse uh, for us. We all know that the world is changing and evolving. The way we are making business is changing. The way we do business and daily activities is changing day by day. And in order to implement and develop our competencies, we need to build what we call it the positive citizenship, which is the person who are able to implement artificial intelligence and other future management tools, including metaverse, in their daily and routine activities. But first, let, um, let's understand what change in our life, how things are going on in our life, and how the business these days are going to change. So we have... At, to, uh, for the past 1,800 years, we used to deal with two main pillars, the physical world and the digital world. Physical world is whatever tangible around us, whatever we can touch it, we, whatever we can feel it. Then, with the revolution of internet and knowledge, we start having an information and data extraction from, these physical, uh, from this physical world. And we were able to understand it even more and better and to exchange information with the presence of the digital world. But nowadays, for the past 20 years, we start empowering whatever we have in our digital world and whatever we have in our physical world to build a virtual presence for whatever we have in terms of data, in terms of a process, in terms of assets. So if we connect our physical world with our digital world, we have what we call it the cyber physical systems. In the cyber physical systems, we'll be able to understand any changes that will take place in our physical activities or physical assets and, and present it as a, term, as a data on the internet. We, and this, this part, we call it the cyber physical systems. If we connect whatever data we have and we model it, we clarify it with, with a clear virtualization and a clear virtual image of our physical assets with the available information about it, we'll build, as simple as that, we'll build a metaverse. Metaverse or we'll build the virtual reality, a reality where we uh, build something identical or we, we build objects identical to what we have in our physical and digital pillar. What if we connect the physical world uh, with uh, some virtual uh, uh, objects or virtual information? So we augment our reality. We augment our daily life. We we'll augment our day-to-day -day activities with some extra information. These extra information will give us a glance about how to deal and interact or how to learn certain things, how to do maintenance, how to do all these things. We'll, we'll achieve something called augmented reality. But what if we will be able to develop the metaverse in a very proper way with the augmented reality and with the effective phys cyber physical systems? We'll reach something called the multiverse. In multiverse, 
will be able to build an effective cyber-physical system with a reliable virtualization, we call it in the metaverse, and with the support of whatever augmented reality or augmented information we have into, into the physical pillar. And here, we're going to achieve the multiverse. Today, we're going to talk about one pillar of these three pillars, which is the metaverse. Metaverse started in the mid-60s, and people start developing machines that will virtualize the, the, the objects in general. Before that, and then we, we, we start, the, uh, subsequently, we start developing uh, these objects into virtualization model. So what is metaverse? How we can deal with metaverse? How I can build metaverse? Is there any particular capabilities or competencies I need to develop in myself in order to be able to build metaverse for my daily activities? Well, can I can I have an aspects or definition of the the future landscaping, the current landscaping? What's changing around? We already defined many things of these aspects in our previous projects, but today we're going to talk purely about how to build or a guideline or a step-by-step -step on how to build Metaverse with, uh, uh, with, with tools and what kind of tools, where, what, what we need to, to, to build, how we're going to build it, and that will be one of the most important learning outcome from today's journey. So... Many people define metaverse in a different ways. Uh, so some uh, people said the metaverse crosses the physical digital uh, divide between the actual virtual realities or a mass delusion that assumes that the future should look like a ready player, uh, 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 which is one of the most important reasons. There is many other definitions. Just to make it simple and easy, if you will be able to reflect what you have in your physical world, the physical assets, with the clear information about the behavior, activities of these assets, and what's going on on a real-time presence, will be reflecting a metaverse, which is a, a, a virtual life that consisted of our physical uh, pillars uh, and extracted information on a real-time basis from our digital pillar supported by different type of technologies. We'll talk about these type of technologies. But we can call Metaverse, in simple board, the 3D version of Internet. So the digital environment parallel to real world, where you engage with others and share informations. Or, and, and, and you should know that there is infinite possibilities for exploration and development. Uh, uh, multiple companies are already developing their own metaverse, making an excited, ever-revolving space of creation. Single gateway access. Currently, VR headset provide the best gateway of utilizing the metaverse. There is some other uh, technologies that have been revolving recently, such as hologram, which reflect the virtualization on the holographic uh, pictures and, and so on. But virtual reality is developing in a very rapid way uh, to, to help us facilitate the metaverse and be our gateway for this metaverse, which is in, in, in our imagination, we can say it's the 3D version of the Internet. So what empower this technology? First, to empower, we need to empower I, our identity in, in this virtual life. So we might use blockchain. Uh, we, we're going to use the virtual reality and augmented reality as tools, as the goggles itself. The 3D modeling, we need to know how to build the models or reflect the physical pillar uh, in terms of models. Uh, we'll not forget the cryptocurrency or CPDC uh, uh, currencies, uh, which is the currencies that will be utilized in the uh, VR and AR activities. Artificial intelligence. And we'll talk about the role of artificial intelligence in empowering metaverse in particular. Digital twin, and we already explained how to implement digital twin. What is digital twin? How the digital twin can be integrated with the virtual reality to avail some uh, real-time effect, uh, 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 real-time effect uh, uh, um, metaverse experience. So blockchain pro provide two main things for our uh, for our metaverse the transparency and security 
which required to operate any function that will take a place in our metaverse or in the virtual environment that we are operating in. The currency that we are utilizing to, to buy and sell lands or to buy and sell resources, to buy and sell NFTs, uh, uh, to buy and sell digital real estate and to make it uh, easy for game purchases, for tools purchases, for transactions and all these things uh, related uh, to the metaverse or virtual environment. As we said, the virtual reality and uh, augmented reality create uh, to, it helps to create immersive and engaging a 3D dimensional environment for your metaverse. And you can see this and interact with this um, a virtual environment, a dimensional virtual environment uh, through the uh, tools of VR and AR. Artificial intelligence, uh, one of the main source for immersive activities or even reaction or behaviors that will take place in this virtual environment in order to implement it in a very uh, uh, realistic manner. So uh, 3D modeling, uh, there is many tools to, to, to resemble the real life and make the metaverse more and more realistic or build an, a realistic experience that will reflect a certain uh, a journey or a certain uh, practices uh, that will take place in this virtual uh, environment. Digital Twin will always uh, provide us with the real-time information about any activity that will take place in the uh, virtual uh, virtual uh, reality or in the metaverse when it's activated with a collaborative uh, framework between uh, different members uh, in the uh, virtual environment uh, or immersive virtual environment. So there is many more, many uh, experiences or many uh, famous metaverses. Um, I, 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 I thought that we need to talk about some of them and uh, maybe compare between them in terms of implementation and how we implement things. So we need to know that uh, we have many three uh, famous metaverse lives, the uh, Horizon World, the Decentraland, and the Sandbox in addition to some other metaverse like Roblox, Second Life, and Illuvium. So uh, each and every uh, uh, metaverse experience from these three experiences, Horizon World, Decentraland, and Sandbox, had their own characteristics. So uh, Horizon World is a closed platform. It's not an open source platform. Uh, so the development need to be based on certain activities uh, uh, and it's operated by Meta, uh, which is uh, one of the biggest companies for virtual reality. And uh, we used to call it Facebook. So it's a closed platform. And then we go and check the centerland. Centerland, Decentraland is a, an open source platform. So anyone can contribute in this platform and it's operated by Decentraland Foundation. Uh, we have another open source platform that operates really well uh, with, with the, with, we're currently with Alpha Season 3, uh, uh, which is an open source platform operated by uh, uh, Anomica Brands, which is one of the companies that operate the sandbox in general. So we have these main three uh, uh, metaverse life that are very famous uh, in the metaverse experiences. Now, who adapt these metaverses, who go and check and, and build their own existence uh, or virtual existence or virtual immersive experience in this environment and how we, uh, we can check which environment suits us. So we have different type of people who utilize this metaverse uh, uh, experience. Uh, we have the consultancies, the governments and the brands. We, we will not forget that CEO will implement their own strategy for metaverse and uh, we have in Dubai Bara uh, that already, who already uh, regulating the metaverse in general. And, uh, we will not forget as well the role of Dubai government in identifying what we call it the GMP, Gross Metaverse Product, which is an indicator to major your activities in, in, in the metaverse. And for, for sure, in addition to some brands like Nike, uh, Adidas, and some others, who uh, build their own shops in these uh, metaverse 
as part of their uh, virtual activities to improve their richness, their sales uh, revenue stream. And we already talked about how to implement these things and how to implement uh, metaverse activities into your organization and make it part of the DNA with utilizing the AMA and some other tools. So these, main, these three main uh, um, uh, global adaptation pillars that are taking place these days in the metaverse activities. I thought of putting some examples, real examples of these uh, three types. We have uh, Adidas, Huawei, Neom, uh, Emirates, JP Morgan, HSBC, for sure, uh, Ministry of Health and Prevention, Government of Dubai, uh, VARA, and CEO. Uh, all, as you can see, we have the right kind of uh, 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 entities that uh, contribute and work in the metaverse to reflect their experiences. So uh, uh, we, we can see some other uh, organization or consultancy companies who build uh, their own oriented space or business orientation space uh, or uh, uh, business for certain activities or for career firm for, for, uh, like the one that has been built by EY, uh, which, in which they build their own career uh, for, uh, on the metaverse. Uh, and as you can see, uh, the market is booming with more than 65 billion uh, on, uh, in 2021. Uh, the projection growth is around 57 billion in 2022. Uh, um, the compound annual growth rate will reach 47.6% during the forecasting period, according to the last uh, uh, report published by PCG, okay? which will show us that the, the, the metaverse will take a huge role in our activities uh, for any organization, regardless the type of industry in the virtual meetings, special trainings, like health and safety trainings, and we built a very fantastic project for um, Abu Dhabi Mashbari for health and safety training using Metaverse. Um, uh, uh, acceleration for the growth uh, in tourism, education, healthcare, customer service, and some others. All these TMT industries will uh, uh, affect the, uh, and will drive the growth of metaverse utilization for different industries around the world. We'll not forget that recruitment start taking place now through uh, 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 through metaverse and immersive collaboration. Uh, uh, we'll not forget as well uh, the XR workplace or VR uh, augmented rides for uh, uh, drilling uh, and for barge management and all these things. So as you can see, the utilization and adaptation of such technology is not an option anymore. We are going into this with a huge level of growth um, for different industries and for a part particular utilizations uh, around the uh, uh, metaverse activities. So uh, the business adaptation, we can start from the uh, medical sector, talking about the virtual hospital to meet your doctor, uh, uh, specialized VR and AR training for uh, uh, crucial surgeries on a 3D human models, access to health data gathered from headsets. Uh, on the other hand, uh, for warehousing and supply chain, we talk about managing and simulating warehouse operations, special training and remote meetings, uh, terminals inspection and and, and, and Abu Dhabi terminals or uh, Abu Dhabi ports terminals, they can use the VR and air for terminal inspection in a very effective way by just for an example. Uh, uh, on the same hand, some uh, brands now, they are counting on the virtual malls and job centers uh, with a very personalized advertisements in order to uh, drive the purchase of uh, an assets or a digital assets that will be owned on an asset on a, on a digital level and will send they will send you a physical real product uh, to your place uh, or to whatever ad you, address you specify and this is a new experience that will let uh, will help us to try whatever we want to buy without having uh, a physical existence uh, for example in a fashion showroom in Paris 
so or any part of the world. Uh, we'll not forget that what, uh, what what Roblox is doing to the world. Every everyone is trying to buy items and assets for Roblox, and the gamification and ads uh, in Roblox uh, become very effective uh, in terms of business uh, uh, upskilling or business uh, uh, optimization. Uh, on the same hand, in the education field, we talk about the virtual universities uh, uh, or teaching uh, uh, VR and AR. Uh, is one of the most important and hot topics in the uh, education sector. Uh, uh, history lessons with feeling the history is another very important topic that took the educational sector into another level. Uh, there is some gamification or gaming uh, with immersing, immersive role playing uh, uh, that taking place uh, these days online, and it's 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 a, a good. Uh, uh, growing business um, for sure uh, virtual events with the stakeholders showing them a real use cases uh, paid medias uh, social listening and uh, broadcast to global audience is another line of optimizing the uh, revenue stream for your organization uh, for telecommunication industries they can be the hub of all these activities under a one reliable trustful platform or maybe they can build their own uh, uh, Decentraland or, or their own open uh, platform with fees that will help the other industries and accelerate the transformation for other industries in general. Um, now, allow me to, 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 to talk about a new uh, uh, tool uh, or a new empowering tool that uh, contribute uh, uh with uh, with the metaverse which is the nft non fungible uh, 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 assets which is uh, uh, or non fungible tokens uh, which means that token a unique token that has been assigned uh, to a certain uh, uh, asset either it's digital or uh, virtual or physical maybe, uh, to show and represent the ownership of such assets. And there is many protocols that can be built for this NFT. Um, uh, maybe we can talk about them uh, on, uh, on, uh, later on on some other opportunities. Uh, these NFTs will help from protecting the digital theft or will minimize the counterfeiting of any uh, products that is not real. So basically, it's a tokenization system that will be assigned to a certain asset, either it's digital, physical, or virtual, to make sure that you're representing the ownership of this NFT. Using uh, And by the way, NFT is one type of the cryptography or the blockchain or uh, 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 one of the technologies that come under the blockchain uh, technology in general. Using cryptocurrency or using uh, uh, using cryptocurrency or even CD CDBC uh, uh, can always uh, be a way to uh, uh, accomplish or achieve uh, or uh, do or conduct an activity on the virtual presence to store and collect these activities and to make sure that you've got the ownership of these nfts so the cryptocurrency will act will will activate the nft in a way or another in the metaverse now we are still talking about the the outer uh, 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 part of the uh, metaverse in general uh, i thought to show you some uh, real world uh, use cases uh, uh, Samsung released their own NFT collection that includes series of 12, around 12,500 customized piece of Pixel Minds, uh, which is one of uh, really a good projects of uh, of uh, Samsung. Uh, 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 Websoft uh, they 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 uh, launched their own uh, lips in, uh, in the sandbox uh, with the playable NFTs. Um, Atari. Uh, released Atari token uh, uh, in their 15th anniversary, which helped them to generate a new source of income. Uh, uh, Nike uh, partnered with Apes Jacked Club to create NFT, uh, 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 which which created a Nike land uh, and Roblox, and uh, it's working on their uh, and they are working on their own um, uh, NFT. So as you can see, 
even the big organization will let you uh, in, involve in a way or another, will affect your behavior, your virtual behavior, your virtual immersive environment interaction uh, with, with the metaverse. So everyone is going to this metaverse. So how, uh, what can I build in this metaverse as, as, a, as a person who interact and how I can get benefits of such experience? Uh, you can build your own avatar. You can build a set of collectible assets that you own for your own land or in on your own land. Uh, art, uh, uh, articulated marvels, a set of marvels that will be walking along in your experience in general. And for sure, you will integrate whatever you experience in your real life. So let's start talking about the characters. As you can see, these are different avatars and characters from different uh, metaverse experiences. Start from creating your own 3D models to express yourself in a customizable way, or maybe dress up, uh, dress, uh, dress up with the clothes or a unique wearable digital uh, collectibles. And these are part of the experience for avatar. You can uh, buy, shop, sell, trade, items in your in your marketplace or in the marketplace on, on, of the metaverse and you can make a lot of money of that so uh, you will enjoy this experience guys you can design your own immersive 3d world for example nike did the same and we give an example of that so building such experience will always help you to interact and motivate that your environment to interact with you in order to shop sell trade your digital items now in order to work and integrate whatever you have into your real world activities, we need the three main pillars. The first one is AI, the second one is media, and the third one is data. So AI is an in integral in technology for the metaverse. It will help with the creation of digital persons, defining non-player characters, or what we call it the NPC. Uh, and it will uh, identify and define the behaviors of these NPCs. Uh, at, in, uh, and it enables the access, uh, accessibility options uh, for, for, for people and the, the determination of such experience. Um, and this is a very important role for AI. Guys, without the AI, we'll, we, it will take us ages to build the metaverse experience. Because AI will always recognize the determinations and will always recognize how the people gonna interact with your metaverse or the NPS, NPC, what we call the NPC, uh, will interact with your uh, metaverse. Uh, media, uh, we know that as, uh, for example, images, videos, presentation can still be used in the metaverse. Uh, uh, for example, giving a presentation in the metaverse will still need slides and can be integrated with PowerPoint. And this is very important part that we need to avail a, a, a good set of media that will help us to interact in our metaverse activity. Data, as same as all the other future management tools, um, um, data and metaverse is very crucial. It's a, re, a reality a, a agonistic, meaning we will we will still rely on it to make conclusions, to make uh, actions, to make decisions whether in the real world or in the metaverse. Uh, for example, if we have a virtual store um, in the metaverse, it still can be connected to an, an e-commerce platform to manage the inventory in the physical life. So this interaction between these three pillars will always require to make our metaverse uh, clear with purpose. And this is very important when you build your own metaverse, to have a metaverse cl experience clear with purpose. Now. As we said, uh, how you, you can build your, uh, your metaverse. And this is very important part and very essential pillar to, to that most of the people ask me, Doctor, how we can build this experience? Uh, and what if I don't have a technical knowledge? Uh, would I still be able to build a metaverse experience or to try even the metaverse experience? I will always say absolutely yes. So we need the three required uh, essential parts uh, for, to build a metaverse either in sandbox or decentraland and this is the samples I'm giving here uh, just for illustration and understanding. So we need a required tools. There is a set of required tools that we're going to utilize when we build the metaverse. 
we need to build a set or, or get or buy a set of metaverse assets that can be utilized in your experience. And there is some un, uh, other minimal requirements that we need to consider. We uh, explained some of them in our previous uh, course, and I would highly appreciate if you can go back to our previous uh, course and attend it to understand how you can integrate the metaverse with your organization. So we'll start with the required tools. So what I need in order to start my, my journey in the metaverse? First of all, you need to have your own wallet. You need to build your own wallet. In order to build your own wallet, there is many options. I'm going to explain only one option here, the MetaMask, the most common used uh, uh, wallet management uh, platform uh, on the uh, de uh, de uh, decentralization. Uh, there is uh, Betsky, there is Venly, there is Coinbase, and there is some others. Uh, I highly recommend MetaMask. Uh, um, uh, after that, you need to build uh, or start building your NFT characters, and you can use a tool called Box Edit. Box Edit. I'm gonna explain how you're gonna use it, and it will help you to build your own assets in the metaverse. Then you're gonna pick and check the Game Maker and Sandbox Desktop client, which will help you to publish. Uh, will help you to publish whatever you have in your uh, wallet and uh, in your um, uh, metaverse experience, experience to be shared with others and others can utilize it in general. Uh, for metaverse assets, we need uh, three main things. We need land we, and we need to go and, and get a land for us. And we need to pay for that um, uh, using the Ethereum, uh, using the Ethereum in general. Uh, it will uh, it will help us to uh, uh, get our own plot or our own land using the Ethereum. We call, um, and we'll pay something called the gas fees, which is a fees that will be redeemed uh, for such a transaction uh, uh, in general. You need to have a coin called Sand, and it's a cryptocurrency coin that reflect the utilization. Uh, or uh, it gives you the ability to utilize a, a, a currency for your uh, metaverse experience. And for sure, the base of, of both activities will be Ether or Ethereum, which is a cryptocurrency uh, coin that uh, is based on dApps or decentralized applications, which will help you to utilize all these applications with a, 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 a fees of Ethereum or a, a minimum gas fees. Uh, other requirements, as we said, you need to have a desire to create uh, and uh, uh, a cre create a clear purpose of your metaverse. And we explained how you can create this purpose and how you integrate it with different uh, departments uh, in your organization. A good plan and a good imagination on how you're going to build. It's, and there is no harm to check the other people's experience and to check on YouTube maybe some good designs of Metaverse or on Google or some others. It will enhance and optimize the imagination. Uh, on the same hand, you can use some of the innovation, what we call it the innovation sandbox tools, uh, which is a set of tools that will help you always to build your imagination um, uh, and uh, innovate in a better uh, way. A criti and the critical way to major your activity and progress, and we all know the importance of uh, Vara uh, uh, in Dubai and uh, the importance of having GMP uh, in uh, your organization to major the activities uh, that you got from the metaverse in general. These are the main components that you need uh, uh, in order to build a, a full immersive uh, uh, environment of uh, uh, virtualization. Um, uh, to summarize it, up, uh, summarize it, we'll create our own crypto wallet, then we'll purchase the land, then we'll create our own assets, then we'll design an experience, then we'll publish this experience in our uh, metaverse. Um, uh, allow me to uh, take you with a step by step on each and every no node here. So we'll start by creating our own crypto and we'll carry on our journey in general. So first of all, you need to da to go to, da to the Google, write download MetaMask uh, wallet, uh, or you can just uh, click on this uh, particular uh, link and you will download an application that will be embedded into your uh, 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 web tool. Um, then you gonna uh, uh, the system will ask you you want to create a new wallet or you already have one uh, you can import it so you're gonna create a new wallet 
then you create a password and seed phrase. So for people who create application, uh, who create accounts in, on, on the internet, they used to have their own, uh, they know the way to create their own passwords. But we have something in you here called the seed phase. It's a set of phases or a number of phases that you need to keep it or save it somewhere. Uh, in case you forget your password, you can you, you can use these seed phases to get back your password or even to log into your uh, account. Once you are done, you save your seed phase, you create your password. Congratulations, your crypto is ready uh, to uh, be utilized in the metaverse. Um, then I suggest you create and uh, you go to any exchange account you have. There is Binance, the most famous exchange accounts for crypto is Binance and uh, Beta Oasis. Uh, you can uh, purchase uh, uh, for maybe $50 Ethereum or $100 Ethereum and you, you, you convert it to uh, uh, from Durham to uh, Ethereum and it will uh, be converted to your uh, uh, wallet and to be sent to your wallet uh, and it will be um, showing that it has been sent to your wallet with a set of uh, uh, authentication phases. And um, for such mentioned exchange accounts, they are using something called ERC20, which is one of the main protocols that we need to consider and utilize when we use um, uh, the exchange accounts. Then we, we're gonna go and purchase our land, a plot in the metaverse where we can build our own experience or we can contribute in our experience so we create an account first on OpenSea by connecting uh, your metamask or your uh, wallet uh, with uh, uh, with the OpenSea account uh, you can go to uh, OpenSea uh, coll uh, collections uh, sandbox and then uh, select a land uh, or uh, we call it the aka states uh, to purchase your land uh, uh, the price of the land uh, subjected to different factors uh, where it is how many neighbors you have the size uh, uh, the, the the demand of the land and there is many other factors that will change the land's price uh, according to certain criteria then you uh, pick uh, the plots uh, purchase your selection uh, uh, you can pay uh, then you go directly and create an account on the sandbox using the same wallet you used in uh, your last land purchase which is connected already to the open sea and connected already to uh, the uh, meta uh, mask voila now you have your own land in the metaverse you own your own land in the metaverse and you are ready to go or you you own your own aka states uh, in the metaverse and you are ready to go uh, we'll start creating the assets that will be in our land. Uh, uh, and we use uh, Vox Edit for such, uh, uh, for, for, for such activity. So we'll start by, we'll go to the Vox Edit um, uh, and uh, it will show us, we'll create a new assets in Vox Edit. Uh, we'll use the tools such as there's pencil, lines, models, di diagram, everything is there. All you need to do is to put each and everything and start uh, having your imagination to build um, uh, something nice that can be animated and uh, uh, you can put it directly after rendering uh, the assets. You can publish it uh, on the marketplace to sell it or you can publish it on your land. Um, so you have created your, in that way, you have created your own first NFT and you can also di di display this NFT on your land or you can sell it in the marketplace. It's entirely up to you uh, if you want to make money or you can keep it in your land and put it in the marketplace and people will like it and then buy it uh, from you or maybe they will exchange it with something else. Uh, so we easily, we build our own. It's like it's it's like this exactly. We, we open our own bank account um, with the wallet. Then we start buying uh, with our, we, we deposit some money in our back account and bank account and that's what we did in the exchange through Binance. then we uh, start we, we we made our decision that we want to build our own uh, house so we went to the uh, 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 open sea and we we, we opened with sandbox uh, collection and we bought our land we picked the land according to certain activities and criteria then uh, what we did 
we we start putting whatever assets we uh, we are buying or developing uh, through our bank account and putting into this uh, particular area to enhance uh, the experience that we are living in uh, and that's exactly what we did through vox edit uh, then we start creating now the experience itself and this is very important guys when you want to create the experience you start you can start either with a template or you can start with building it from scratch. Uh, starting with the template is a set of uh, templates that will help you to build your own experience, your own space uh, with uh, your own features, or you can start building your own space from scratch and start importing assets uh, that you have already developed in your box edit. Uh, place and position each and every uh, assets you, you, you picked and checked uh, to uh, the place you want it to be active in and then uh, design your behaviors without any code there is no zero coding here you just uh, build your behavior and pick it the way you want then you start testing uh, out your game and then voila your uh, your experience is ready and you can publish whatever you have on your experience and people can try it and uh, work on it or try this experience and uh, uh, reflect it uh, with uh, whatever activities you would like to uh, as your own experience. Uh, if you want to spread the word about uh, your uh, your metaverse, uh, you can use different uh, uh, you can use different tools. Uh, for example, you can use a NFT gateway or sandbox marketplace. For example, to sell your own assets that you already developed in Box Edit, uh, Discord to 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 spread the word of, word of mouth about your experience, about your metaverse that you are you built, about what's going on there. Uh, Tobaz, OpenSea, uh, Rarible is a, a place to exchange the assets and NFTs and deal with it and maybe buy more uh, unique uh, uh, NFT experience. As you can see, you are reflecting whatever you have in your day-to-day -day activities, in your real world, into another virtual world with different pillars and uh, parties that will affect your activities or will help you to control these activities in a decentralized uh, manner. Now, uh, let's talk about uh, 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 the ethical and regulation concerns of uh, uh, the metaverse. And to be honest, this is one of the most important uh, 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 parts uh, of the dilemma, that controlling the, the, the country's uh, uh, mindset and DNA, how we can make sure that we are uh, uh, implementing the metaverse into our business activities in a very ethical and regulated uh, manner. Um, we'll start with the first challenge, identity control. So user can create identical avatars and, and use them to, to take uh, on different identities online or where uh, there's a, poss a possibility to tricking others. Uh, for example, I will build a character that looks like uh, a very important person somewhere and uh, uh, do the activities. This is very harmful and very tricky, uh, but um, with the integration of blockchain will optimize and enhance the overall security and transparency of such thing. So uh, our suggestion will to connect a, a token to the avatar that will always uh, help us to trace such activities. Privacy concerns, uh, you know, the VR headsets and uh, can access biometric informations, uh, user environment and motions increase the possibility, which increase the possibility of identity theft through having such uh, biometric informations. Um, and here we can uh, intervene with the AI uh, or what we call it the, uh, the uh, reinforced deep learning or extreme machine learning or even meta learning uh, to protect such activities in the privacy aspect of metaverse. Uh, freedom of creative exp uh, expressions, uh, artistic expression that could be deemed offensive or uh, inaccurate, uh, might taking credit of uh, someone else's work, uh, or such thing might be another problem that we need always to integrate NFT for such activities to minimize uh, 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 such expressions to be done. Uh, social and economic, uh, economic inequality, uh, 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 it's a question who get access to what, uh, 
uh, kind of technology, who has the power in the society, how we gonna manage such power in the society, and we can manage this through what we call it the DAO. Uh, and we believe DAO will be a, a very uh, effective role, will play a very vital and effective role later on on the metaverse. Uh, we're gonna talk about the DAO in a while, uh, but uh, these are the most ethical uh, challenges that facing uh, the metaverse in general uh, in our daily activities or daily day-to-day -day activities uh, either for uh, on oper uh, on organizational level or on uh, 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 personal level or on individual level so uh, we need uh, each and every challenge can be sorted out through one of the other technologies and that's what we explained in our earlier uh, courses that the integration between the future management tools ai smart big data blockchain iot or digital twinning um, uh, and other tools will always make will help us uh, to achieve uh, an ethical and regulated ecosystem uh, that can uh, be utilized um, in our uh, organizations or as for us for individuals so how we can assure, assure that we are into a regulated metaverse there's three things that we need to discuss here we need to discuss DAO uh, which is a decentralized autonomous uh, organization the goal of DAO is giving the user of, uh, of any metaverse uh, experience such as Decentraland, for example, uh, control over the policies that govern the, the experience or the Decentraland or any metaverse world through using user voting. And this is a very important feature that will help us to, um, to vote or to, to say what we want in our metaverse and how we can deal with it, uh, which is a reflection of democracy in our uh, physical life. Uh, financial regulation uh, will not forget Dubai Virtual uh, Assets Regula uh, Regulatory uh, Authority, uh, which become the, the world's first regulation, uh, regulatory uh, that provide a framework for the operation of financial entities in the metaverse. And they play a very essential role in, 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 in the GMP. Uh, um, uh, in addition to that, we're going to talk about the law in the metaverse, uh, uh, which prevent uh, potential offensive uh, uh, vandalism or uh, of virtual uh, virtual property, breaching any contract uh, uh, between two entities in the metaverse, or even theft of copyright assets uh, and NFTs. And here we need a law that has that assigned to these activities, which will protect. Uh, our activities and will make sure that whatever we are doing in the metaverse is taking a place in a proper way and in a very effective uh, uh, manner. Uh, just uh, what we need uh, uh, from this uh, uh, immersive environment in general, we need to build this immersive environment uh, uh, with, with two main aspects, updating the organization capabilities and competencies and building an effective team in your organization that are able to build uh, and implement Metaverse in an ethical and regulated manner. On the same hand, it needs to have a clear purpose of our Metaverse, where uh, IDEL, International Artificial Intelligence, and the Future Management Tools Driving License, that is a license that will help you to develop your skills in building the Metaverse uh, in a proper way and according to the international standardization. Uh, on the same hand, we need to build our organization capabilities according to the uh, uh, mentioned already three layers, which is the business layer, the information layer, and technology layer, which will integrate together uh, to overcome any challenges that take place or that show up in the metaverse uh, with a proper way, because we can't, uh, uh, we need to mitigate risk uh, for such activities on the virtual pillar. On the same hand, we need to improve the trustworthiness of uh, such a uh, pillar in our organization uh, uh, or, or Im Im improve the trustworthiness for such technology in our organization. So we need to improve different pillars, starting from data, the integration between uh, Metaverse and, and, and our daily activities, and the uh, UX, the interface itself. Uh, we talked about the box edit and some other decentralized experience uh, or, or other uh, immersive experience that you can be part of it 
or if you are a telecommunication industry maybe you can invest in building your own experience as an open source platform experience that will help people and organization to be part of uh, such experience and try it with a, a trustworthiness level uh, which will uh, assure the secu security reliability uh, and trustworthiness and resilience of such a platform. I, I believe this is where the opportunity these days uh, for uh, either uh, UAE or for other countries around the world. And once we build these two pillars uh, and we can build for organization uh, through AMA, as we said, for individual through IDLE, and once we uh, fine tune these two pillars together, we'll be able to build an effective metaverse that have a clear purpose and will achieve uh, uh, many benefits for our organization uh, uh, on different aspects and pillars and will be part of this rapid growth that take taking place these days. Uh, um, and I will end up uh, talking about uh, follow a, a visionary leader says the future belongs to those who can imagine it. So let's imagine uh, uh, the future uh, uh, with Metaverse and I uh, highly appreciate the says of Sheikh uh, Mohammed uh, bin Rashid uh, Al Maktoum, uh, which is I uh, consider one of the fantastic things that ever uh, can be utilized for tech people in order to have the imagination, or even for positive citizens who he, who can have the whom they can have the imagination to build an effective metaverse uh, experience for different activities um, that take place around the world. So. Let's sum, 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 uh, sum it up, uh, whatever we talked about. We talked about the metaverse, the activities of metaverse and how it's taking place these days, how we are changing everything to reach what we call it the multiverse, and we explain the steps of multiverse. Then uh, we, we identified the components that will take a place uh, take a place for this 3D version of internet. Uh, then we take it step by step to have a certain requirements. Uh, and we break down these requirements into the assets, the, the required tools and to other requirements that we need to be taken into consideration on the capability level of the organization. Uh, then we start taking step by step from building the wallet to building your experience, building the uh, using Vox edit to build your um, uh, your uh, your assets, uh, having your own wallet, having Ethereum as an exchange uh, a currency for whatever you have uh, on a D apps level or decentralized app level. Uh, then uh, we 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 agreed on how to buy a land, how to launch and publish your uh, your experience, what kind of uh, tools you're gonna uh, use to market such experience. Then uh, uh, we end up talking about the importance of ethical and regulated metaverse for our daily and routine activities. Um, Allow me, guys, uh, to thank you for such opportunity and taking from your precious time. Uh, indeed, I would like to thank and draw my appreciation for Virtual Academy Tedra uh, or Tedra Virtual Academy for such amazing opportunity to discuss about how to implement Metaverse on a step-by-step -step, uh, model. And I think it was very easy uh, for us to build, and it's very easy for you guys now uh, to build your own uh, uh, metaverse experience and to try this uh, new technology that taking in place these days uh, with more than 55 B, uh, billion dollar growth uh, in our daily activities. Thank you again and have a nice day.